Okay, picking with a gun. This is a manual gun. You can buy motorized ones too. Doesn't matter too much. The wheel on the back is just to adjust the up and down motion, the play. You probably would never really need to use that much. I find this a little bit of a pain to work with, the connector here. Um, I don't need to say too much about that. You'll see. So you have different kinds of picks that fit on the end of your gun. Probably, for starters, you'll want to go with one that is bent, like that. So you want to, let's see here, if I recall, you want to have it bent up. Okay, so you put this in, tighten it off. The problem with this particular one is that the, the nut keeps coming off and gets loose. So it's a little bit on the flimsy side. Maybe if I replaced it with a butterfly nut or something. But in the meantime, push it in nice and tight. You're still going to need a torsion wrench. Doesn't matter which one you use. They're all fine. In fact, maybe I'll use this. If you were to use one of these styles, all it basically is is it hooks on the top and the bottom at the same time, like that. Okay, can you see that better? And then when you turn it, it turns the whole tumbler at the same time. The only problem with that is sometimes the top side gets in your way when you're picking, that's all. But, but I mean, you could even do it, uh, let's say, uh, against the bottom, squeeze them because they are springy. So you can squeeze it against the bottom or something and put it in there or something, you know, whatever. Or part way, whatever way works best for you. There's different methods, it doesn't really matter. All right, I'm gonna put this one back in. Make sure we're locked like that, okay. Slight tension, as we said, too much tension, it's gonna jam the pins. Too little tension, they're just gonna go right back to where they started. So you need to experiment with what's best. So all you're doing then is, I'm gonna slide the gun pick in underneath the pins, like this. If I can get it started, there. Now with gentle pressure and an upward angle so that that kink at the bottom is straight, Every time you do this, they, the, the pick jumps up, hits all the pins, and they all go up at the same time, and then hopefully get caught at the top. And I can hear them reset there, so after 10 seconds or so, if it doesn't work. Just maneuver your pick around a little bit so to try and find the sweet spot. I can hear them reset again. And I got it right there like that. As you can see, the pin, the pick fell out as I pulled away. That's because this is a terrible uh, connector right here. I'm looking at the screen at myself and it's upside down. So when I pull this way, it goes the other way. That's why I'm, anyway. So you see uh, the nut is just a really simple nut attachment there and it goes into that little tiny spot right there. Nothing fancy. A better setup might be warranted for this, but that's basically how you do it. That's all it is to it. I don't use this style too often. I have. I prefer the rake method. That's my that's my go-to. And then secondary, I'll go to the bump key if that doesn't work. Again, check out the other videos for more details. This is a quick close-up version. That's it. Using all the videos together um, will complement themselves for your total learning of what's going on.